Hello and welcome back to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make acorn and blueberry muffins. Mmm, yummy. I love these things. They're really easy to make, very simple, and it's really cool to use acorn flour that I made myself. I will do another video on how to make your own acorn flour. You need to process the acorns, and in that, I'll show you how to do that in the video because you can't just eat acorns as they are and because of the tannins that, you, that are in them, um, that makes it really bitter. And so for those of you who may not be familiar with acorns, acorns are the nut from oak trees. And there's a variety of oak trees out there. Common ones here in the United States are live oak, which are what the acorns that I'm using are from, red oak and white oak, and there's a bunch of others. But yeah, so look forward to that a video on how to process acorns. It's gonna be really neat. So on to these acorn blueberry muffins. Like I said, very easy to do. If I can do it, you can do it. Let's get started. First, let's go ahead and preheat our oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 Celsius. Also, before I move on, down below in the description, you'll find the amounts and list of ingredients for this recipe. I wanna start with my dry ingredients first. I'm gonna go ahead and take my one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, my three-fourths cup of the star of the show, the acorn flour, which I made myself, one half cup of whole wheat bran, one half teaspoon of salt, one and one half teaspoon of baking soda, one and one half teaspoon of baking powder. And then with the whisk, let's mix this all together. Very simple, set this aside. Now you take a large bowl and we are gonna add in our milk. This is one and a third cups of milk. I'm using 2%, you could use whole milk, 1%. You could substitute it with almond milk or buttermilk. And let's add one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then we want to melt our butter. This is one third cup of butter. We wanna melt it just until melted. We don't want it really hot because we don't wanna cut, <laughs> we don't wanna cook the egg. All right, our butter is melted, and you can use salted or unsalted butter if you want. And then we're also gonna add in one fourth cup of brown sugar, and you can use light or dark. Mix this all together with a hand mixer. Now what we wanna do is we wanna take our, our dry mixture, and let's just do about a half of it first. And then we'll blend that in with the mixer. All right, that's pretty good. And then we'll scrape down the sides once and then add in the rest. And then after a while, we wanna scrape down the sides one more, one last time. And then at this point, we can remove our beaters and then clean those off as best as you can. And now we want to take our pecans. I have pecans here, or you could use walnuts or any other nut, really. And then we wanna take our a half cup, a little over a half cup of blueberries. Doesn't have to be exact. Okay, and then we're gonna fold this, those in to the mixture. If you use your beaters still at this point, it's just gonna mangle up those blueberries and your mixture will turn blue-ish. All right, and now we need to Set that aside. And now we want to fill up our muffin pan, and I have it lined with paper cups, or you could just spray it as well and not use the paper cups. And then you'll take like a nice big spoon, I'm just using like a big tablespoon, and you want to fill all these up equally, and it's gonna take up probably all this batter and you'll fill it all the way full. All right, so about like that, so this recipe makes one dozen or 12 you know, fairly large muffins. All right, so we're gonna bake these in the oven for 18 to 25, 26 minutes until they're golden brown on top. And when you poke them with a toothpick, they come out clean onto that step. And when they come out of the oven, they'll look something like this. This took right around 23 minutes. And we go ahead and let, let these cool in the pan for about five minutes. And then we will transfer them over to a wire rack to cool completely. All right, I wanna show you what one of these looks like on the inside. If you let it cool all the way, it'll peel off a lot easier. A 
look at that. Awesome, nice and dense, full of flavor. All right, the blueberry and acorn muffins are done. Turned out fantastic, really easy to do. Something different, something unique. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thumbs up, down the corner, push it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Take care. Time for me to dive into this. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm.